What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it's Sparky617 here, and today I'm bringing you guys some Subnautica. Now, Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints. Okay, thank you. Yep, thank you. Um, Take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. Okay, I'm familiar. Yep, got it. Now, this game is a really awesome survival game that takes place in the middle of the ocean, and it's, it's fun. It's a big, big world of unknown things. Um, if we come out here, we can see we just crashed from that ship right there, known as the Aurora. So... We, uh, we have to survive. That is our number one priority. Let's go ahead and jump into the wonderful world of the ocean. Look at this. This is phenomenal. Now, a couple people have asked me to play this game. Um, we're gonna get a little bit of chugging here and there just as we start off and load the world. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Let's not do that again. Um... Now, a couple people have been asking me to play this game, and I've had this game for a while, and I have played it before, but I was waiting until they added more stuff to play it, because it's it's kind of one of those series that you have to, like... Ten seconds of oxygen. Oh, there we go. We're out of oxygen. It's kind of one of those games where you have to make your own ending, because it doesn't really have an ending yet. So, as you can see over here... Uh, we have our O2 meter, which is our oxygen as we're under the ocean. It's going down because we're taking in oxygen. Um, we have our health bar, food, and water. So we just need to keep all those in check as we, uh, as we venture into the ocean. But for right now, I just want to... Uh, let's not get into his territory. Let's not mess with him. Now, the thing is, we need some materials starting off to build a knife... So that we can defend ourselves. Uh, we're moving into the next chunk here, so it's kind of loading in the next chunk. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some of these here seed clusters. And let's get out of here. First off, we're going to need oxygen. And second off, we do not want to mess with those people right there. They're not people, but they're, they're very scary animals. So... Now we can make our way back to the ship and hopefully build something. Now we will need an escape pod if we want to build more things. Um, escape pod. We will need a repair tool to repair things in the escape pod if we want to have access to the med kit fabricator and the communications relay. This is the communications relay. This is the um, life pod systems. We'll be able to use the power in here. So, uh, they did give us some flares, some water, and some food. Okay, th thank you. Let's build ourselves some titanium. There we go. That's what I needed. And can we build ourselves a knife? 
what do we need for the knife? No, we need silicone rubber. Which we can build with the seed clusters. Perfect. I knew I needed them for something. There we go. Now we have ourselves a knife. So, let's go ahead and put that right there. Perfecto. Look at that. Now we can chop stuff up. Uh, I'm trying to see what we might want next. We are going to want an O2 tank. Compressed be breathable air. If We need glass, and for that we should just need quartz. And we have quartz. So we're going to build ourselves an O2 tank, and what that'll do is that'll give us more time. So right now we have 45 oxygen. But if we build this here O2 tank, boom, now we have 75 oxygen, and it just takes up our little slot right there. So, first off, before we build a base, that is going to be my favorite thing in this game, is building a base. Before we do that, we probably want to get a scanner and or a repair tool. We're going to need crash fish powder, magnesium, and titanium for the repair tool. And for this, we're just going to need a battery. Battery, we need acid mushrooms and copper ore. So let's go down and get ourselves some ore, hopefully find some magnesium. Just get some of the basic materials here and there. If we can find any of those little wondrous deposits. Let's grab ourselves a fish. Come on. There we go. Gary fish. I don't know that we have any deposits around us. There should be some limestone deposits. Somewhere up. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and break that and get some titanium, which isn't that incredibly useful. Only because we can get these right here, piece of pieces of metal salvage that we can scrap for four titanium a piece. Here's a couple little limestone outcrops that will hopefully, there we go, there's some copper. There's some more titanium. Let's gather up some of this quartz without getting in. Yeah! Oh, oh, all right, let's not mess with him. We cut him up a little bit. Uh-oh, we're running out of oxygen. So we're going to need a name for our little computer friend here because this is the only friend we are actually going to have, um, at least for right now, in this ocean. We are 100% alone. Well, unless you want to count all the terrifying animals um, and sea creatures. But besides friendly things that will actually talk to us, she is basically our only hope for friends. So, if you guys want to leave a name down in the comment section below of what we should call her, um, she is female as you can tell by her voice, then that would be pretty cool if we could have, have some sort of a name for her. Alright, we built ourselves a battery. Now we're going to build ourselves a scanner. Perfect. Let's get this scanner put in our inventory now. They did give us some food, but I want to go ahead and cook this only because it will spoil. And I would rather use this before it spoiled. So now we have a scanner, and hopefully I'll be able to find... I thought I saw some scannable... Yeah, over here. Uh, now it's turning nighttime, which is actually very scary. Because... A lot of bad things lurk in the ocean at nighttime. In these little crates are sometimes... Yep, there we go. There's a sea glide fragment. Boom, one out of two. So once we get both of the blueprints for the sea glide, we'll be able to actually construct it. So let's hope it's sitting around here in another cargo container. Come on. Please be just sitting around here. I don't think it is. All right, we're going to have to keep looking elsewhere. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to mess with you. Oh, he's he's farting little green balls. Oh my god. Let's just go get some more air. Now, air is going to be an annoying thing in this game because you have to keep going up gathering oxygen from the wonderful above water and then coming back down. Now, I did actually see this right here, this little plant. You can hover over it, and these little bubbles will actually give you oxygen. So, 
those become useful whenever you're really far down in the ocean and you are starting to run out of oxygen, but you're not going to make it. Let's go ahead and scan this. I don't know what this will do for us. Okay. Scattered wreckage. <gasps> sea glide fragment. That should be two of two. There we go. Blueprint unlocked. Sea glide. Wow, we are unlocking blueprints really fast. Now, this is a bladder fish. Yes, I know what those do. Those are going to be our main source of making water on this terrifying planet. Because it's not like we can just drink the drink the salt water. Because that would not be healthy. Now, these things are really cool. They're called floaters. Let's go ahead and scan them. Now, what they do is if enough of them are stuck to a rock, they will float. And there's actually this really cool island that is a floating island with huge floaters holding it up. And it's really, really neat to look at with the huge floaters. We'll have to go check that out sometime because it also houses a bunch of plants and blueprints for stuff that we can't get anywhere else. Continued degradation of the Aurora's dry core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. Okay, so basically, the Aurora is going to explode. Because it's radioactive and it's going to explode. So... That is not good. Uh, we will need to avoid that. Hello, little squid buddy. Can I just grab that and get on out of here? I don't know if those squids are actually harmless or not. There we go. We're discovering all the new fish. Let's grab ourselves a table coral. Because I know... Oh, our inventory is full. Let's just skip... Spit that out, not skip that out. That's not possible. All right. Let's get back up here before we run out of oxygen so that we don't have to wait up at the surface. There we go. Okay, now we have a good bit of stuff on us. So let's spit out some of that. I did not find... A sea Glide. We need battery, lubricant, copper wire. Oh, I did not mean to exit that. We are going to build ourselves a sea glide, hopefully. We need another acid mushroom. Let's go grab that really, really fast. That would be just our luck that we need one more acid mushroom to build this thing, because this thing is awesome. So now we'll be able to move quicker throughout the ocean. Uh, you'll see. It's, it's a nice little zoomy, zoomy little machine. I don't know. It, it's pretty cool. So, can we build it? Where is it at? Sea glide. No, we need lubricant. Okay. Lubricant. Oh, we need more of those. We need another one of those seed clusters that we spit out. Okay, is it still... Is it still over here? Wherever we dropped it at? We dropped it, like, right up here. Yes, there it is. Wow. That was, uh, that was just very lucky of us to actually... Have that still floating there. Normally they would have disappeared or got lost in the ocean by now. So now we build lubricant and now we build the sea glide. Oh my gosh, here we go. Now later on we can build battery chargers to replace the batteries in this, but for right now we are actually going to have to um, keep putting new batteries in it. But right now, I'll show you what this does really fast, if you don't already know what it does. Is, now we can go faster. Okay, yes, 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 you're holding it to show me. Yeah, now we can go quite a bit faster. Um, yeah, and it got a little flashlight. It's got a little nice flashlight on the front of it. So, let's save the power in it. We're already down to 92% power. Let's preserve that as best as possible. So... The next thing I want to do is probably get the repair tool so we can repair these life pod systems, begin using these power cells, get this um, nice medicine cabinet, and this communications relay up and running. In the next part, we will work on getting the repair tool because 
we are out of time for this episode. So, uh, yeah, this is Subnautica. If you guys want to buy the game, I believe it's $15, $20 on Steam. And it's it's really fun, to be 100% honest. It's amazing. And look at these graphics. Anyway, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And don't forget to drop the bass. <laughs>